For those of us that have a road glide, the challenge is getting the, the shark nose back on the fairing. Um, there are two clips that uh, are difficult to find, but what I'm gonna to try to do today is give you some, some hints on how to make that process easier for you. Uh, as you can see, the fairing is off. This is the outside. The front bezel that covers the, the beauty ring. Voila. Like this is off. And I have it taken off. Now I want to show you something. See these three clips? This is an important factor to remember. If you want to put your fairing on quickly and not have to try to struggle in finding the three hooks that the front fairing hangs on, let me show you this trick. Press these three clips right here, pull out on it. Voila. This whole bezel comes off. And the reason that's important to take the bezel off is that it reveals the two hanging points, one, two, that fix to the frame of the motorcycle. So the fixed fairing mounting points on the fairing for the, for the receiving the inside of the fairing start right here. This is what's really important because now you can find these two spots quite easily on the motorcycle. When you want to mount the outside shell of the fairing, these are the two hanging points for the interior frame mounted system for a road glide. I put a little orange paint on to help get separation so you can see them better. You see they got a hook here, you got a hook here. Well those two hooks correspond to these mounting points here. These two mounting points you can see right there. Now remember there's a couple things. One, you have to bring these two cables to tighten attached to the headlights out here so they won't um, get on the outside of the frame and close it back up. Come in low, slide up like that, see how easy that's going, and then there you go, like that. Now you see both these fairings, both these fairings clips are on the other side of the exterior fairing, here and here. Both, head, both headlights are here. All your wiring is inside where it belongs. Now these two, these three, excuse me, these three points are where the headlight bezel will we enter. These three clips are what holds the front bezel, headlight bezel, into the interfering. Position one, position two, and position three. So what we'll do now is we'll take these. Reattach them. Make sure you did a good job hooking those up. You don't want to have to uh, look for a letter later. Okay, so we line these up like this inside the fairing. Voila, how easy is that? Now, the fairing's attached, your headlights are attached, everything clips back into place, then you can put the bezel on. There are four points, just so I can show you. One, two, three, four. Right there are the corresponding outlets here and here. Now, look here. 
what you see, see these clips? The out, the inside fairing unit has to have these clips on the outside of these tabs, right here. So we can put those in there. Boom, see how that fits nice and seen there? If it doesn't fit, it's because you have, it's just the opposite where the outside fairing is on the out, on the inside of the inside fairing. You want the clips of the outside of the fairing shell to be on this side of the inside clips. And that's why you got that nice tight fit there. Now you just pick these screws in nice and light. Do not over tighten these. Just put them in to hold it so it doesn't move. Make sure you check both sides, of course, before you do any of that. And just get them nice, get them nice, get them nice. And just barely in there enough to have them threaded. You don't want to have any pressure on the system until, until you have them all in the screw. You have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six positions here. You don't tighten down until you do it. You get all the screws in. Think of it as a wheel on a car. You also you want to alternate the positions so uh, you, you do it in a counter clock situation where each of the screws, this one just tight with the one on the other side, so you go back and forth. So just get them all in this, just put on the system and then you can uh, tighten down later date. Couple of tips on doing putting this turn signal back in. Get your hand on the inside so you can you can rest it on the inside with your thumb at the top of the bracket and your hand below. So you can adjust these eyelets so it's easier to place these back into their hole. Make sure you don't pinch this cable. So you slide it up in like that. Voila. There you go. Okay, now, remember the two washers go on the inside, inside the fairing room. Put those on the inside, they fit in the bracket, and then you put the nuts on top of them. Now, I use this half inch ratchet so it's easy for me to get my hand there and like move far. If we position it, I just slide it in. Okay, I always put a drop of Loctite in the nut, just a little bit. This is red Loctite, which means it's removable, not the blue, semi-permanent. Before I tighten it down. You can see this is the washer here. There's one each, one here, it's already on, and this one here. Now just take the acorn nuts, and once again you're going to put these on lightly, not tight, to get the other side on. I always go back on the side to make sure that um, I cross check these and make sure they're tight. I don't assume we are tighten the other side and they loosen the fairing up, so I always go back and re-tighten or check the tightness on each of them. I never assume that they're tight. Now this one here gave a little bit more, so I recommend that you do that too. It doesn't hurt anything, but you don't want to drive down the road and lose these, so lock tight and then double check it. Okay, uh, this is the inlet. You'll see there's a little brass fitting in there. You want to make sure that you have your hand at the top of the fairing uh, windshield so you can give it a good lineup right here. It's not, this is nothing to hurry you all self through. Just take it nice and easy, work it in gently, don't over pressure it. You can control the height by your hand at the top. And then when you get these things all in, you'll go around and work them from one end to the other so you balance the tightening of the screws.